Oh, hello guys. Uh, I wanted to pop on. Uh, I, I don't know if, if anybody watched the uh, video that I just did. I think it was yesterday. Of the cards I'm sending off to SGC for February's submission. Uh, and I said my the cards. I've been waiting for some from cards to come back from SGC for my... Uh, submission group my um, bubbles and ball cards subgroup in the states and that the <laughs> they are locked in post office prison because they got uh, delivered to my post office group box but uh, they left the key for the wrong box so uh, I that was on Friday um, and then just today she was out there filling the box so I ran across the street as fast as I could and she was laughing uh and she was like yeah no problem sorry about that and just basically gave me my thing so uh so yeah so awesome of all awesomeness I get to do a SGC review holy man baubles come on uh so I get to do a reveal uh yes 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 okay uh, these are, uh, some cards from the, oh, from the seller's group that I was wanting. Yes. Oh, my Tatis. Couple Tatis. Rookies. Rookie debut. Ah, uh, and this is the one I was really wanting, was really waiting for, was, uh, 92 Fleer. Shack Rejector. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, I'll be going through those. That's a, such a nice little bonus. A bonus because he throws it in with the... Um, throws it in with my submission when it comes back so I don't have to pay any extra for shipping and stuff. So that is... That's fantastic. Um, all right, so this is a four card submission. This was the December submission. Uh, they, I think they got them back probably about two weeks ago. And then, um, Bobbles does a reveal on, he's got a YouTube channel, so he kind of sorts everything out, does a reveal of what everybody got for grades, which I watch only parts of it. I, um, cause I do like, I like to do my own blind reveal. So, um, that's like the last thing I want to see. Uh, let's do them like this. So we got four cards. Uh, we're going to do them in this kind of order. And I really like the way this worked out last time. So I'm going to throw this up here. Uh, the first card. Oh, and as always, the top hat. Uh, this was the 96 Wizard uh, Spider-Man die cut. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I thought this would look really nice in the tux, and uh, I was right. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Uh, okay, so we have a uh, 96 Wizard Spider-Man. This was, uh, these were produced by um, Skybox, Fleer. And a 96 for Wizard Magazine. This is number eight. I think there's this is um, a 20-card set. And there are some really nice die cuts in this. The Magneto is is like wicked and stuff. So I'm um, kind of thinking that I'm going to try to track down. I want a whole set of these. Um, the Spider-Man was the first one that caught my eye. But uh, the more I look at them, I'm like, oh, man, there's some really sweet cards. There's a bunch of characters that, you know, are so not mainstream. But um, so what? That's, that's, that's how you learn stuff, man. Uh, in my last video, when I was sending these off, I said somewhere, I think I said, I think I said a 9.5, but I'm, it's like, I think, what did I say? I said, I think, I'm pretty sure I said a 9 or a 9.5, which is good because when I checked the, <laughs> just the other day when I checked the uh, sub or um, uh, population, uh, it's been graded by SGC only five times. Uh, there are no 8.5s, which is good. Um, three nines, one nine point five, which is right what I thought it was going to get. No tens, but I had to put this in because somebody got a 
gold label pristine 10 on one of these cards which for a die cut from 96 and you got a gold label on that that's insane this is not that card uh, it has a few little issues and I, I knew for, I knew, I was like, oh, it's not going to get a 10 and obviously it didn't by the population report. Um, but uh, my, my guess was, my gut feeling was a, a 9, but with the, the possibility, I don't know, a 9 or 9.5, whatever. Let's just, let's just do the reveal. She gets, yeah, she got a 9. That's, uh, that's what I thought. 96 Wizard, Spider-Man die cut. Um, the centering and everything was really good. The front was fantastic. All these little points on the uh, on the die cut and stuff. There was no scratches or anything, but it did have and like the, the front corners and everything were really really nice. But the back did have a couple little issues up along there. You can see like a little bit of whitening there and stuff. Even though all the points on the web and things were were good, uh, it just did have. I think the back corners were pretty good too. Yeah, it was. It's a good shaped card. It was really nice. It caught my eye. That's uh, if you watch the video when I sent these off, I did a, a deep cleaning on this thing because uh, when I was looking at it through magnification, I was noticing fingerprints and stuff, and there was actually like a film all over this card. And when I cleaned it, the colors that came out, uh, it just brought this card to life. So uh, pretty happy with that. Awesome. Wicked. Next card. We are gonna go with. 2015 oh yeah I didn't even go I was I was gonna do I did the PSA just because just because PSA is PSA like you gotta you gotta um, acknowledge them um, so uh, SGC graded five times PSA graded 22 times eight eights eight nines four tens um, and you know PSA they do give half grades they have you know 7.5 they have 8.5s PSA does not have a 9.5 in their grading scale which take that for what you will it for the most part it splits what would have been 9.5s and and bumps them either down to nines or up to tens so um you know the the 10 population on on cards is you know take it for what take it for what it is take it with a grain of salt because uh there's a lot of cards out there that should not be PSA 10s in PSA 10 holders. Uh, this is the Connor McDavid uh, Opeechee Update 2015 um, U11. This is the retro uh, rookie card. This came out of a collection that I bought for ridiculously cheap. <laughs> Mom was cleaning out uh, her house, downsizing and everything. Uh, and this, I had like uh, two of these. Uh, there was four total Connor McDavid rookies in a set in this uh, collection that I bought for it was thirty dollars. It was something ridiculous, um, and I'm not I'm not even a hockey guy. There's twenty five thousand cards. It was it was more than I could handle. It was uh, it took a long time to go through that, and basically it all came down to a handful of cards. Of course, like anybody who buys collections knows. Um, SGC graded twenty four times, uh, only uh, four tens. And uh, the other one that I sent in is one of those four tens, so that's not too bad. PSA graded 93 times, uh, three 8.5s, nine nines, seven nine and a halfs, four tens, like you can read. PSA on that side. Uh, my prediction was this one was going to get a 10. There was a very slight outside shot chance at a 9.5. I did not think it was going to get an 8.5, but uh, this is a, a pretty solid uh, nine card with maybe like a 10% chance at a 9.5. Um, the surface was good. The centering is really nice. The corners were good. I think the only corner that I had any kind of issue with was this one. And it was just... it. I don't know. Not. I don't even know if I'd call it rounded, but just not as sharp as all the other corners. Um, front and back, a little bit off on the back centering. Uh, and I just... I just felt like it was a, it was a solid nine candidate. I didn't think it was a nine point five, and I'd be really disappointed if it was an eight point five. And it gets a what? No way! No way! Oh man, I don't know this with that back centering. And there was no, I couldn't, like, there was no single thing that I could point to that was like, 
oh, this is going to knock it down. It was just a bunch of these tiny little, like, because the edges, there's a little bit, what is that on? Oh, that's just on the cover. On the uh, bobbles, very nice. Uh, they always uh, throw all these, uh, all the slabs when they come back, they put them in these uh, sleeves and <laughs> they just go above and beyond. Those guys are fantastic. Um, there was nothing I could really, the only thing that I had any kind of an issue or a, a concern about was this corner, you know, and it's, come on, focus better. And it is, it's not a bad corner. There is the tiniest, tiniest, I don't even know what you'd call that. Is it like a flattening? I don't know. But the rest, like the other corners on this card were, were really, really sharp. There was no, there was nothing on the surface. I just had an overall gut feeling that it was a nine card with a possibility at a 9.5. A 10, I don't know. That might even be slightly over. I, I will say, I'm going to say that's a, that's a, that's a solid half mark overgraded. Hmm. Especially with that back centering, which they don't mark nearly as hard as front centering, but still, it still plays a part. It still plays a part, and I did not think this was going to get a 10. Might be, might be slightly overgraded. I'm not going to complain about it, <laughs> but it may be slightly overgraded <laughs> by about half, because I did say I thought it had an outside sh uh, chance at a 9.5. Um, so I'm going to say it's half a half a half a grade overgraded uh this is a 2001 tops traded uh this is the paper version it's not the chrome it's not the gold parallel it's none of the craziness uh it is the uh just straight up tops traded um paper copy uh number t99 this is the um rookies of the year uh each euro and pull holes um sgc graded 287 times PSA almost 1300 times. Uh, this card uh, did have a couple little issues, most notably that right there on the back. It had a dot of white right there. Um, the front, as you can see, very nicely centered. These cards, um, especially um, uh, the Ichiro um, rookie uh, in the, it wasn't in the, I think it's just in the regular set. High numbers, maybe it's not in the traded, um, but he uh, his card centering issues all day long, and there's like a I don't know I think it was just the way it was cut because it's not chipped or anything, but there's a little bit of white there, and a little tiny bit of white right there, but the rest like the corners and stuff on this card really really good. Oh yeah, and this one had just a little like a micro dot of white on it. If you, there you go. Um, so I said, uh, I said, this is a solid nine. This card is a nine all day long. Um, it's not going to get a nine five. I, I was just like, no, it's a nine. It's a, it's a, this is a nine all day. Uh, and it gets a nine five. What man, God, I, man, I'm, I'm slightly torn here. I'm slightly torn. This I don't know. Is that a 9.5 with a dot like that? Because <sighs> the front corners, oh man. See, here I'm going to sit here and try to uh, talk myself into not thinking that this was super overgraded. Because this, uh, this, was, this was probably, uh, I bought this a year ago um, just off of eBay. Got uh, a pretty decent price on it. Uh, the the raw copies of this one have um, gone up quite a bit. I, I looked briefly tonight, just kind of getting ready for this video. And that is, oh, just a chunk of plastic. I think that's, is that inside? I don't think it's a, something, a piece of fluff on the inside. Uh, not in the case, though. Uh, and yeah, the raw prices of this one have almost doubled what I paid for this card. Um uh might be might be half a grade higher might be half a grade uh well yeah i would say this is a, a half grade um and frick i don't know half a grade 
uh, I was I was very convinced that this would get a nine. I had already come to terms, come to peace with the fact that this was going to be a nine. Uh, and a 9.5, kind of happy, kind of think it might be half a grade overgraded. Man, Jesus, who thought you'd be a little, not disappointed, but a little less than, less than stoked about uh, <laughs> higher grades than you wanted. <laughs> well, I, like, I don't really, these are... I don't really sell. I don't sell cards. So this is, these are pretty much just going on my shelf. So, um, and thank God that little white dot is on the back because if, the, if that dot, white dot was on the front, well, if it, that dot was on the, on the front, there's absolutely no way in the world this would be a 9.5. But, uh, a card like this sitting up on my shelf and it says 9.5. And if it had a big white dot on the front, that is the only thing I would be able to look at every single time I looked at that card. So the fact that the white dots on the back helps a bit. Um, but I, I feel like that might be just slightly overgraded. Uh, last, but certainly not least, this is a 1958 Topps Bobby Hull rookie card, number 66. Uh, this is a card from my dad. Uh, he kind of... I remember when I was a kid, this would have been like, I don't know, geez, early 80s, uh, being a kid. And he had like a little, it was a shoebox and he had little stacks of cards in there from when he was a kid, just wrapped up with rubber bands and stuff. And I remember looking at them and, and looking at this set and being like, oh, these are cool. And and then when I started getting into cards, I, you know, searched, I was like, dad, where's those old hockey cards you had? Oh, and he... He kind of like, oh yeah, here you go. And there was some like 1980, 81 tops baseball. Of course, you know, they were just destroyed. Those might have even been mine cards. I really have absolutely no idea. I don't know why he would have had um like 81 tops um if they weren't purchased for me or whatever. So um well, like another chunk of stuff. Oh, it is, it's on the inside. Well, it's on the inside of the the holder or the um sleeve. Uh, but yes, this is a uh, 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 tops graded 88 times PSA 419. This card, man, you're talking about these like the old vintage like this, trying to predict a grade. I am, first of all, there is a huge wax stain on the back. Of course, the only card in this entire set that had a wax stain, <laughs> and it's the Bobby Hull rookie card. Um, it's uh, as you can see, it is off center. Uh, there is slight wearing on the surface and stuff um the corners are all of them are rounded uh these lived in a shoebox with wrapped up with rubber bands and stuff for years and years and years and a you know a uh very young card closet was uh looking at them and playing with them and everything else so i'm i'm very happy that they even survived it all so um this is the hull um i said anywhere between a one and one at the lowest and a 2.5 at the highest. So I, but I, cards like this, how do you, how do you grade this? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know how they do this. So this gets a, a three. I think almost every one of these cards is about half a grade higher, except for, except for the Spider-Man, about a half a grade higher than, than, um, than what I thought or what I gave it at the most kind of thing. Cause I was, well, I said anywhere between a one and a 2.5 and it got a three. So this is, this is about, again, about half a grade higher than, uh, than I would have predicted. Um, I said a 2.5 at the highest. So yeah, the Connor, uh, I said it had an outside shot at a 9.5, uh, and it got a 10 and, uh, the Ichiro pull host, um, I gave it a solid nine and it came back a 9.5. And this one at max, I said a 2.5 and I got a three. So uh, either I caught somebody uh, at a good time and um, they graded these just half a mark higher or uh, I am a slight bit critical. Um, and I know I am pretty hard uh, on this stuff when, I, when I'm looking at cards, but... Uh, well, I'd say on average, maybe possibly half a grade, half a grade higher, uh, overgraded. Um, but whatever, uh, there you go. There's the, uh, 
This is the uh, December submission. January is, I think, almost almost done getting graded. Um, and then they'll be sending that back. And February's, I just dropped in the mail today because they need they require them by a certain date. And in the States, you know, it takes you know, roughly uh, between a week and 10 days to get there and stuff. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.